The word church is 103 times in the Bible. Church means a couple things. Number one, it's the corporate meeting that you and I are in on Sunday, but also the church refers to you and I. We are the church. So when you read the Bible, many times what you can do is put your name when you read the word church. Because when God is speaking to the church to change or the church to do this or that, he's also speaking to us personally. Example, there's four things that will take place in your life for you to have a multiplied blessing. I want you to be blessed. The Bible talks about the church being blessed. He talks about you and I being blessed. And one of the first things it says that happened in the church in the book of Acts is that they added to the church. As you remember, 3,000 people were saved. And so they were added to the church. And so in that spiritually, what God is saying is that we need to add to our lives. Because in Acts 2, it says that they started reading the word of God. They started fellowshipping with one another. They became very generous and prayer was a key to what they added to their life. So let's just say first what you and I must do, we have to read our Bibles, we're going to have to pray, we have to be a generous giver, and we have to fellowship. Start serving in the church. Get involved and do something. So I add to my life. But the second thing that happened, listen to this, you're going to do the math here to get a multiplied blessing, is subtraction. You have to subtract. And then we go to Acts 4 with Ananias and Sapphira and they were hypocritical in the church, but they were posing to be something that they were not. You know, behind me here, these are things that have been subtracted from people in our church. It's amazing to see there are people that come to some of our events and you can see here, these are weapons, these are knives. Uh, you can see some of these that uh, these are from gangs. This was a bat that was used by a gang member that he gave it to me. Also over here, there are heroin needles. These are needles that have been used uh, that was given up in uh, one of the services. We have crack pipes that people, they're subtracting some of these areas of bondages. Uh, there are notes, there's even notes and what people have written to me that they want to uh, subtract lust, popularity, fear, depression, rejection, judging people. This was from a, uh, uh, a two satanic uh, priest that were doing occultic rituals with this little knife and they were using it. Now, it's not always this that we subtract. The Bible also says, what about your unforgiveness? What about your anger? What about your bitterness? Subtract these things. So the Bible says this, the Bible says that we are to add to our life. The Bible says now we subtract to our life. And then the next thing that happened in the book of Acts, there was division. There was division among the religious leaders but the vision now personally to us, since we are the church, is that battle between the flesh and the spirit. We have a division of not my will, but God's will. And every day we wake up, there is that question, are we going to follow the flesh or are we going to follow God? Now the Bible says he wants to crucify us. What does that mean? Bam, bam, that means I'm crucified on the cross. That means I'm not able to do anything in the flesh. I don't want to do anything in the flesh because I am crucified to the cross. And so every day you make that decision, I'm gonna follow Christ. I'm gonna go all the way with God. I'm not gonna feed my flesh. I'm not gonna be double-minded, as the Bible says, unstable in my, all my ways. Double-minded means I have division in my mind. I'm not gonna live that way. And then in Acts 6, it said the disciples multiplied. And I said the disciples. Difference between the believers and disciples. You need to become a disciple today. And when you become a disciple, the Bible says there's a multiplication that takes place. Do the math, addition, add to your life, read the word, be generous, fellowship, serve in the church, pray, subtract, all these areas that hinder you from being what God wants you to be. Division, make the decision, God's will, not my will, just like Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then the Bible says, automatically, you'll have a multiplied blessing come on your life. I want to see that happen and I pray this will be the week that it happens.